my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber spider back again with the continuation of the tessellated heart fillet blanket, and we are on row 31. So let's get to it, shall we? This, I believe, should be the last video of this crochet along series. So let's get to it. All right, so chain up two. That's going to act as our first double crochet. And we're going to be doing our doubles in here. So it's going to be a total of five. So we've got this one, four more, total of five. So we get two, three, four, and five. All right. And then chain one, skip that chain space going into the next double crochet and each double crochet across for a total of 15 doubles. I already got three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, continuing right along. Going to chain one, skip the space, going into the next 15 doubles. I don't know if you can hear it, but somebody has a lot of bass in their car stereo, and it's quite literally making my windows shake. So if you can hear it, I apologize. Honestly, I don't understand why music has to be quite so loud. You know you're getting old. When the music is too loud, people drive too fast, and you're using the expression, these kids today. Uh. <laughs> and I do all of the above. <laughs> I'm only 41. Oh, God. All right, so I'm just doing this grouping of 15. Almost there. And ship boom. Okay, whoever that was, I think they drove off to greener pastures. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fifteen. Perfect. Okay, so we are approaching the last group which is going to be 13. So after doing my 15, chain one, skip that chain space, <coughs> excuse me. So I've got one and two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen in that last double crochet there. And there you go. That is the end of row 31. Alrighty. Okay, row 32. For row 32, it's going to be 11s and 3s. So 11, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, but two 3s at the end. Okay, so let's do this. So chain up 2, 
Turn the work. And we need to start with a grouping of 11. So this counts as our first one. 10 more double crochets for our grouping of 11. So skip this one, going to the next. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next, and two more for a total of three. There we go. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going into the next, and 10 more for a total of 11. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. A little shifty shifty, there we go. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going into the next stitch, and two more for a total of the grouping of three. There we are. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going into the next, and 10 more for a total of 11. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then we need our two groupings of three. So we need to still chain one, skip the next stitch, going to that next one. And two more makes up the grouping of three. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and then go into the last three stitches for our second grouping of three. And there you go. So again, this plays into the whole asymmetry because we have two groups of three, but on this side, it just starts with an 11. In the grand scheme of things, it will work out. Okay, onwards to the next row. Okay, row 33. This one's gonna be real easy. It is a series of sevens, beginning and ending with a space. So because we need the space at the beginning, we're going to start by chaining up three, two, and three, which is going to count as our double crochet and chain one space. So skipping this stitch and this stitch, going to that third one with a double right there, and then six more doubles for a total of seven. So we have two, three, four, 
Yep, yep, yep. I've got four. Five. Six. And seven. Perfect. Okay. And then continue on with groupings of seven separated by our chain one space. So chain one right there. Skip the next stitch going to the next one. And really? <laughs> and so this one and then six more for a total of seven. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the next stitch going to that next one. And six more. So that makes two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the next stitch going to the one after. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the next stitch going into the following one. Six more to make seven. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the next stitch going to the next one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain one, skip that next double going into the very last one with your final double crochet for the space at the very edge. And there you go. And that is the end of row 33. Okay. We're getting there. Yes, we are. Alrighty. Okay, row 34. It's sort of the reverse of row 32, where it was 11, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, and it's two threes at the end. Well, row 34, it is two threes, two groupings of threes at the beginning, then 11, 3, 11, 3, 11, 3, with an 11 at the end. So it's sort of the opposite. The, the mirror image. So let's start by chaining up two, turning the work, and doing our first double crochet into the chain space. And one more. There we are, so that's our first grouping of three. Chain one, skip the next stitch going to that next one, and two more for another grouping of three. Okay. Chain one, skip a stitch going into the next. And 10 more 
for a grouping of 11. So we've got one, two, I'll get there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going to the following stitch, and two more for a grouping of three. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going to that next one, and 10 more for a grouping of 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, chain one, skip the next stitch going into the following one, and two more for a grouping of three. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going to the following one. And 10 more for a grouping of 11, the last, the last grouping. So I've got one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so 10 goes into this space here. And then the last one goes into the second chain from the bottom. So you have 11 at the end. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Perfect. All right, so that is the end of row 34. So as you can see that these hearts that are upside down they are coming to a closure. And then you have these hearts up here that are growing and eventually they'll have the sort of little boops at the top there. All right, we're getting there. Let's keep going. Row 35. Okay, so row 35, it's gonna start with a grouping of 13, then go into 15s and then ending with a five. So 13, bunch of 15s, ending on a five. Let's get to it. All right, so of course, first things first, let's start with our chaining up of two. Turn the work and up two. So first grouping, so 13. So I've got one, skip that little first one, go into that next one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 
12 and 13. Okay. Chain one. Skip a stitch going into the next. And now we have our groupings of 15. So, of course, this double crochet that we just did does count as one, and we need 14 more. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Chain one, skip a stitch, going into the next, and 14 more for, again, a total of 15. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. Okay. Chain one. And the last grouping of row 35 is a grouping of five. So after doing my chain one, skip the stitch going to the next. That's one, two, three, Four, and the fifth one at the very end. There we go. And five. Okay, so that is the end of row 35. And we've got our points developing there. Very good. Very awesome. Okay, onwards to row 36. Row 36. Okay, so row 35, it was 13, bunch of 15s, and a 5. Row 36, it's 5, 15s, and a 13. So it's basically row 35 just in reverse. So I'm going to start by chaining up two. And where you see the doubles, you make doubles. Where you see the chain spaces, make a chain space. We're just sort of building off of the, the previous row. So, got one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, skip the chain space, going into the next, and 14 more for a total of 15. And just a couple more. Okay, there we go. Scoot your work. When you reach the chain space, you chain one, 
skip the chain space going into the next stitch and 14 more for a total of 15. Key doke, almost there once again. And then we'll do our last grouping of 13. So I got my 15, chain one, skip the space going into the next. I got two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there we go. 13. Okay, so that is the end of row 36. So basically, it was just sort of stacking one row on top of the last following suit with itself. Okay, onwards and upwards. Row 37. All right, row 37, it's pretty straightforward. We start and finish the row with groupings of five. In the middle, groupings of seven. So chain up two. And that's, of course, our first double. Skip this little first double, going to the next. And three more for a total of five, so that's three, four, and five. Chain one. Skip a stitch going into the next, and six more for a total of seven. So that's two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. Yep. Chain one, skip the chain space going into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven, and my yarn is being persnippity. There we go. Two, four. Six, seven, good. Okay, so chain one, skip a stitch going into the next, and six more for the seven. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the space going into the next stitch, and six more. So that's one, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch going into the next. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then chain one, skip the stitch going into the next. And show your yarn who is boss and that you will not be conquered. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. So I got one, two, three, four, and in the very last one makes five. Da -da -da. Okay, and that is the end of row 37. So this little spot that we created in the middle there, that's going to create the sort of, you know, downward divot point of the heart, of the top shape of the heart. All right, onwards to row 38. Row 38, it's all about the threes all about those three groupings. So chain up two and turn your work. Skipping this first stitch because this of course is our double going into the next stitch and the one thereafter for a total of three for the first grouping. Like so. Chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next three stitches. Chain one, skip a stitch going into the next three stitches. And that is really what this row is all about. It's all about the threes. Very easy, very simple. It's easy as A, B, C, one, two, three. A, B, C, one, two, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as my yarn decides not to be all tangly. And it is, but what can you do? So I just keep chaining one and do three doubles. Chain one, skip a stitch, going to the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, going to the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, going to the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, going to the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, going to the next, and two more for three. Chain one, skip, next three. Got my chain, skip, next three. Chain one, 
skip the next stitch and go into the last three. So if you make the noise, it works better. All right, so that is the end of row 38. So close. We're getting there. We are. I promise you. Okay. Okay, so row 39, it's going to be another one of those rows where you have a, a series of sevens bookended by spaces. So chain up three which is of course going to act as our double crochet and chain one space all wrapped up into one. Skip, skip, go right into here, that third one, with your first double crochet. There you go. So we got a space and we need six more for a total of seven. So we've got three, Four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip one, going into the next, and six more for a total of seven. Okay, that's three. Four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip the next stitch, going into the next, and six more for a total of seven. So that's two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip one, going into the next, and six more. two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip one, going to the next. Seven stitches. We've got two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch going into the next, and six more. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip that stitch going into the last chain two. And there you go. All right, so it's all groupings of seven. Okay. Let's proceed. <laughs> all right, we are just about at the end with rows 40 and 41. Now, 
an important word about this repeat for the pattern. Okay, so rows 40 and 41, yes, we are going to go through those. Um, and then as far as the repeat for the pattern, it is rows 2 through 41 for the full repeat. Now, if you want to end with your, your final hearts being in the, uh, you know, the upright position, you would repeat rows two through nine, okay? So that, you know, your, your last hearts are all evened and nice, just like what we began with, where if they come right to the edge and they're all in the upright position, you would go um, and finish your last repeat of rows two through nine. If you want to keep going and make your pattern bigger and longer, then you would repeat a full repeat of rows two through 41. Now, if you want them to end in the upside down position, you would end on row 25, okay? And of course, all of this is going to be in the description box down below. All right, so we are going to now do rows 40 and 41, which are the exact same row, which makes it nice and easy. So that being said, chain up two, Turn the work. And so we're going to start with groupings of nine. Well, start and finish with a grouping of nine and then 15s in the middle. So we've got one and two and three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Yes, two, four, six, nine. Yes, okay, good. All right, and then chain one, skip the chain. Going into the next 15 stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, scoot your work. Chain one, skip the chain space, go into the next fifteen stitches. Okay, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Chain one and skip the chain space and going to end with a grouping of nine. So I've got two three, four, five, six, seven, eight goes into that chain, and nine goes into the last second chain 
from the bottom. Ta -da. There we go. All right, so that was row 40. I'm going to do row 41 off camera because it's the exact same thing. I would be chaining up two, working my way across for nine doubles, chain one, work my way across for 15 doubles, chain one, 15 across, chain one, and end with nine. It's the same exact process. And that is the full repeat. Yes, it's been a long time coming, but <laughs> that is the full, full repeat. All right, I'm just going to do that last row off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is a full layout of everything we've done in this crochet along. My goodness. All right, so now we left off doing, it was row 41. So you have, if you'll excuse my handheld camera work here, uh, we left off with those three rows, one on top of each other with the, with the three eyelets here and here and here. Now, as I was stating previously, if you want to finish up the next set of hearts, those motifs, so that they are right side facing up, what I said before is you would need to do a repeat of rows two through nine. So that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then, so this would be your last row. So your last series of hearts would be in the upright position. If, however, you wanted them to be upside down, then you would end on a row 25, which is right here. So then they would be all lined up, nice and pretty, and upside down. The choice is, of course, up to you, but I hope that that makes sense. And I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed doing it with you guys. It's always fun to do a nice crochet along so we can spend some time together. And of course, make sure that you guys really understand what it is that I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So if you liked this series, please give a little thumbs up button down below and hit subscribe because I do try to post often, whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narration. And of course, my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. Would love to see you there as well. And until next time, I hope that all of you stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and stay safe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.